Hi guys, it's Afif here. My well, this 93 rated prime icon Franco Baresi player review. I want to review this card as a player I've always wanted to use in FIFA, but he never really fit the game type each year. I remember using this guy as part of the classic 11 side in kickoff mode, and he was always fun to play with. Looking at his price compared to the prime icon centre backs, I just thought it was a perfect time to pick him up and try him out for a review. Anyway, this is the team I'll start him in with the recent goal. Robertson, Gomez, Baresi in pro in defence, Kante, Fabino, Anderson, Rivaldo and William midfield, with Vardy in attack. Raises is 5 foot 9 with medium attack and high defensive work rates. His right foot has a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. Take a look at some of his in game stats. He's got 88 short passing with 87 long passing, 93 reactions, 86 ball control and composure, 95 interceptions, defensive awareness and stand tackle, 96 slide tackle, 90 head and accuracy, and finally 85 stamina. I used him with the anchor chemistry styles and I wanted to boost his pace and physical. This also maxed out his defending, which is the reason why I chose to use this over a shadow card. However, if you don't care too much about his physical and just want to boost his pace, then maybe Shadow might be the way to go for you. So to begin, I'll start with his pace. This card really didn't feel like a slowing game, even when matched up against some of the faster striker options like Mbappe and Werner. This is mainly down to his starting defensive positioning, as he would always track the run of the attacker, which meant it was harder for my opponent to get a break away from him into open space. I also played him alongside a fast centre-back and right-back, which probably also helped as to any time he might have been beat, they were always there to cover for him. So if you do pick up this card, I would highly recommend using him alongside a faster defender. The only time his pace might be an issue is in his recovery speed to get back into position if you bring him out of the back line and make a mistake. His dribbling for a defender was actually pretty good. His agility makes it easy to turn and change direction both on and off the ball. His reactions are also as good as stats suggest, and it also helps make him so defensively solid, especially when the ball has a sudden change in direction, he was always there to pick it up. His ball control for the most part was great, especially if you like to play it out from the back with your defenders. It makes holding the possession a lot easier, especially when transitioning from defence to attack. He only really made one defensive error from a bad touch, which was a shame, but for the most part he did well at either taking back or receiving the ball and keeping it under control. The biggest positive of this card and the reason you buy Baresi is his defensive ability. In every game he left with a high smash rain out of my back four and he was just a completely solid defender for me. The way he plays reminds me a lot of Kante, he just constantly intercepts the ball over and over again, recycling possession for your team. As I've mentioned before, his defensive awareness and marking ability helps out his pace a lot due to being able to recognise attackers' runs and following them. This is a different style to what you'll get from a faster defender that don't have as high defensive start. Instead of reading the game like this Baresi card, they often defend based on a recovery style play, where an attempt at attack is made and they catch up and stop the attacker. His stand tackle and slide tackle are also perfect, but you don't really often get to use his slide tackle due to his initial defensive positioning. His overall aerial ability was also decent for me, thanks to his jumping which is a lot better than the stats suggest. Defensively I had no problems with this card in terms of winning headers and he could easily pick out one of my players to head the ball to. His passing overall was great for a centre back, they were always very accurate which you might expect and it's definitely safe to play it out of the defence with this card, with both his left and right foot. The only slight drawback with his passing was his lack of curve occasionally. However, for the most time, when you're passing it out from the back, you don't need to bend it around any players to reach your midfield, as there usually isn't too many of your opponents in the way that deep into your own half. Physical-wise, this card does a job similar to most centre-backs with average strength. He was able to push a few people off the ball, especially weaker strikers and wingers which people tend to use this year. He was also good at putting pressure onto attackers without fouling them and forcing the attacker into mistakes. This is especially effective against players with low composure. Other than the negatives I've already mentioned, the next issue I had with this card was his shooting ability. Now this isn't really a massive problem as it's not very often you get a centre back in a position to score. And although he did manage to get them on target, they lacked both power and accuracy making it an easy catch for the goalkeeper. Although his height never really caused many problems in terms of aerial battles, it resulted in Baresi making less blocks on shots due to his small frame. This is a problem you'll face with most small defenders, as they just suffer in terms of their ability to reach shots and put their body in front of it. The final negative was his head and accuracy in attacking situations. This guy wins a surprising amount of headers from corners considering his height and jumping stat, however, the resulting header was always off target and he never really tested the goalkeeper like a player of a 90 stat should. So overall, I'm going to give this 93 prime mic on Baresi an 8.5 out of 10. He makes up for a lot of his weaknesses in other ways, and although he isn't considered a fast centre back, he still managed to defend against some of the fastest players in the game. This card is close to being a complete defender, and if you pick him up, he'll make an impact in your defence. The only real question I have is how long will this card stay as one of the top defenders in this game? As people's teams continue to get better and faster, will his pace result in becoming less usable over time, even though he can defend against the top speed players at this point in the game? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And to request any future content, then please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to reply.